Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. Today I have a new video for all of you with Bit and Nails. I know you guys love these kind of transformations, so without any further delay, let's get started. Her nails have a trapezoidal shape and naturally grow upward, which is most noticeable on the middle and ring finger. Despite the small nail plate, you can see how the middle finger's free edge is raised upward. Her nails also have a lot of dry cuticle and hangnails, so this cleanup today isn't going to be an easy one. In order to properly clean up the dry cuticle, we will need to use some additional nail bits. I'm starting off by using a truncated comb diamond bit to clean up the cuticle on her nail and carefully push back the cuticle. I'm also using this bit to file down some of the nail plate which is needed in any case for adhesion of the material. When using this kind of nail bit, we do need to be extremely careful. Holding this nail bit incorrectly can really harm the nail plate or cut the skin, and we don't want that. After cleaning up with the nail drill, I am taking an orange stick and delicately pushing her cuticle a little up. This way I can further clean up underneath using my nail drill with a flame bit. After cleaning everything up with my nail drill, I am taking a small pair of scissors and removing the dry cuticle. Then I am simply taking my nail drill once again and with a ball bit buffing everything up.
I already love the transformation on her ring finger. Before the cleanup, her ring finger's nail had a very trapezoidal appearance, but now that everything's all cleaned up, it is semi-rounded. Now for our extensions. I'm prepping her nails by applying a dehydrator primer and a base coat. After the base coat has cured underneath the lamp, I'm placing the nail forms on. And of course, I'm using polygel. Polygel is the best product for this kind of case as you can form it immediately and create a beautiful and perfect shape. Another thing I love about polygel is that it doesn't bake underneath the lamp. Therefore, there's no discomfort for the client. For this client's nails, we are going with a shorter square shape. I also do love this camouflage color which hides any appearance of these former bitten nails. Now all that's needed is a little filing to leave everything nice and even. They already look amazing. Now just for a little bit of art. Over this beautiful pink camouflage, we are doing some fun stamps in black. My client has chosen different designs for each nail, making each nail super unique. Further, I'm coating her nails in a matte top coat and our nails are ready. and our transformation on former bitten nails is complete. If you liked today's video, then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.